You were filming, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. You should keep all this also. Huh? Uh, I'm enough salt already. Yeah, yeah, you should keep that as outtakes. So hope you guys enjoy. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nene, a U.S. trained cardiac, thoracic, and vascular surgeon, and a general surgeon. As a healthcare innovator and a health tech innovator, I want to empower you to your best health ever. On this channel, we will share evidence-based medicine from all of us to you through our experiences and training about health and healthcare. The goal is to help you make informed decisions about your own health as well as that of your loved ones. We're here for you, so don't hesitate to reach out. Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a great recipe today, and it's one in the farms of Mexico that they would use every morning. It's called huevos rancheros, and it's one for students as well as us that is delicious. It's vegetarian technically, uh, as long as you eat eggs, but it is delicious and it has like 161 calories only and very little fat and carbs. So you'll love it. And so, this is like great for a breakfast. I love to eat it for breakfast. And it's muy, muy bien. Is that right? No, muy bueno. Muy bueno. <laughs> Que sabroso, sabroso. Sabrosa. Sabrosa. Que sabrosa. Sí. Está tan sabrosa y muy, muy bueno. Okay. okay. Let's so let's start. Uh, so the first step, it, we're going to make everything and then put the recipes up so you can take a look at it. And right now we're going to go through the assembly stage because a lot of it's done, but we'll show you everything piece by piece. So we've got a combination of corn uh, tortillas and uh, also keto tortillas, depending on if you really want to reduce your carbs. I don't think it's excessive. But you plate one on your plate with the corn, which is more traditional. Mm. Now I have two choices of beans. If you're a student and you don't have a lot of cooking range, you can always take a can of refried beans. And one of the pro tips on that is to add a little milk when you're heating it, and a little bit of cilantro, and a little bit of salt and pepper, and you come up with this. Mm. If you really want to make the real beans though, uh, you can basically soak the beans, um, bake them, or, or rather steam them, and then um, in a different pan, what you would do is just take some oil, fry some onions up, add some cumin, garlic, uh, salt and pepper, and chilies and other things, and this is what you come up with. So this is homemade refried beans. So which so, beans do you use for this? Rajma, you know, right? Uh, or the red beans? Yeah, yeah, you can use red beans, basically. Mm -hmm. So. In my case, I love to use the homemade uh, beans, mm. which are much better. So let's try those. Yep. But in the case where you're a student, in 20 minutes you can mm, basically good. get this done okay, and so okay, does this fast. Right. All right, so the next step is we have eggs here. And these are uh, single fried, sunny side up. Yeah. And the key is to leave your yolks soft if you like that sort of stuff. Not everyone does. Yeah, you can even like up to you, but I think that yolk melting adds a lot of flavor mm. and texture to this recipe. If you recipe. like yolk, that is. And then for me, I'm not a huge cheese fan. If I do use it, it's uh, mature cheddar. But at this point, I would put a little bit of cheese on. I'll put a tiny I love cheese. She I loves love cheese, cheese, no yeah, doubt. And then this is homemade salsa. And so this is like a koshimbir for us, but what you've done is pan fried the onions and then added tomatoes, cilantro, garlic, uh, chili, um, in the way of serranos and other things. So you add a little bit of that, that to the top. top. And then you can garnish it with avocado and guacamole, which I showed you in a different recipe on the side, just for flavor. Thank you. Guacamole. I love guacamole. And then the final step for a little bit of garnish is to add a little bit of cilantro. Mm. It's funny, right? Like cilantro, even if you add a little bit of it, it has so much flavor, it, it's like, even the smell is so good. It just, it's very fresh. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. Why, there's salt in it. There's enough salt, please. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. 
So you can see how rich and hearty this is. Ready? Ow. Good. I'm having trouble transporting. Mm. A little bit of hair makes it tastier. Mm. Mm. My hair loved it too. It's eating it. Mmm, so good. Mm. Can't lose there. Mm. I'm curious to see what it tastes like on a keto roti. What do you think? It is good. Mm. I mean, you, you can even eat it on a sada roti also. I think it will still taste good. But corn tortilla is what, you know, is used in Mexico, but you can uh, really use something else too. So hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Because we uh, really enjoyed making mm. it for us and ah, you. And I really enjoyed eating it. So. Yeah. And you know the funny part is whenever we cook, our kids mm. eat. Mm. They they eat with our chefs too, but I like cooking, and they know that. And so they're like, "Okay, Dad, it's your turn." But. The older guy's actually getting pretty good in college. Yep. And he sent me some of his pictures and recipes. So I think he's he's not only learned, but he's gotten a passion for it. So enjoy, guys. See you again. Remember, like, subscribe, share. Mm. I got to finish this, sorry. Talk to you later. <laughs>